Attention, all Dawnbiggers. Aaron needs your help. He's alive, but he's locked in a Dane prison camp. He needs two Master Seals, a bunch of stat boosters, and a million bonus experience to become a good unit. But in order for him to get there, he needs your credit card information, the three digits on the back, and the expiration month and year. But you gotta be quick, unlike Aaron, who's really slow, or he'll never make it out in time. So, what are you waiting for? Go give Aaron that epic, ultimate Sentinel promotion, so that he can finally become the MVP. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Manx. Hi, I'm Mecha. And Mecha has a very squeaky chair today. <laughs> <laughs> Oil it, dude, come on. <laughs> I tried. I actually tried. You did? I put it on the side and I put, poured like a light, liter of oil down there. It didn't work much. I'm a bit of an expert when it comes to chairs, so if you want some good tips, just uh, <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> Try not to make me laugh. That will make my chair squeaky. All right. <laughs> okay, let's go. Try to play well. So I don't have to laugh at you. <laughs> well, four hours. What the fuck have we been doing? I don't well, I guess know. This also includes your prep time, though. Yeah, this is true. The Liberation Army's sweeping victory seems to signal a turn in the war for day in. However, General Jared uses his superior numbers to harry the group <laughs> and threaten their fragile momentum. Benyan has fortified its army with weapons and supplies bought with funds stolen from Dayan. <laughs> <Ben -Yan laughs> has also purchased the swords of a vast number of mercenaries from these same stolen funds. The Liberation Army does not want for willing fighters of its own. However, most are old men and inexperienced boys whose passion far outstrips their skill. Yeah, some stuff the Dawn Brigade. The Liberation Edward. Army has no choice. It must bolster its ranks if it is to meet Benyon on equal terms. Its only hope lies locked in Benyon's prison camps, where Dayin's former soldiers await their rescue. Oh no. We're going to prison camps, boys! No, not again. <laughs> This is game of so many prisons. <laughs> Dude, you play Tracia 776. <laughs> it's like the prison game. Alright, so, uh, it is time uh, to enter the base. We're not going to do a lot here. First things first, we got to get like a, a brave weapon from Peleos. Like, hey, thanks, Peleos. Thanks for Feel the brave free. weapon. Edward will uh, appreciate that. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Right, <laughs> Load of the safe state. Uh, uh, did you save uh, your preps? I should have done it. Um, <laughs> so that probably means you didn't. I probably didn't. Okay well, then. Well then. I I I don't know. <laughs> Just do probably not that much to prepare for anyway. Nah. Yeah. Okay. So nah. Not that much really. I mean, we gotta give the, uh, the brave sword to Edward. That's pretty much about it. I don't know why I didn't just give it to him. Um, we gotta take, like, everything off Torneo because he can't join anymore. I think that's probably, like, about it. We got a Master yeah. Seal here. We can probably just sell the Master Seals, but I guess they're nice to have around. You can give think? Paragon to one of your tier 2 units if you want to. Or to Mikaya. Yeah, that works. works. I, yeah. I don't think it's of use, but sure, you can give to Mikaya. I mean, it helps her more than Shade. For sure. I mean, I guess the tier 2 units don't really get much out of Paragon unless you want to use Zyhark long term. Eh, I don't think so. And even Zyark doesn't get, doesn't get that much extra XP because he's like a tier above the enemies he's kind of fight, so it doesn't help too much. No, I don't think it's going to end up doing a whole lot, if I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, one thing we do need to do, though, uh, we need to visit the shop and probably get a Wind Edge, I think, would be nice for Zyark. Sure, if you if you only have one, I guess it's nice to have another one. Yeah, the um, secret book and the arm scroll, I do not think it's worth it. No, definitely not at all. Other than transferring gold, but there's really no points. Um, another thing I thought of is uh, you don't really want to use bonus experience to level up at this point because none of your stats are capped, but you might want to get some people to 99. Oh, why? Why is that? Because it, it gives you like a bit of extra XP, but it doesn't give them the level up that they probably don't want. Oh, so, I for see. example, Jill, if she's at like 20 XP, you can get her to 99 and she'll level up sooner. Ah, that's actually pretty smart. I didn't think about that. But yeah, we can yeah. do that. Um, yeah. And then uh, once people start capping stats, you want to do the reverse where you give them like close to 99 in the in the levels, in the chapters. But then you don't, you don't level them up there. 
Yeah, I would only do it for like units that actually have long-term combat potential because bonus experience is so scarce. Okay. Like, I, I know you just gave Paragon to Makaya, so you kind of want to use her, but... Alright. Up to you, I guess. She'll definitely be a good candidate. And then people uh... like Nolan and Edward, depending on how you want to use them. I think, honestly, at this point, I think Nolan and Edward might be mainstay units, because both of them have gotten really good level-ups. Yeah, I don't remember all of Nolan's level-ups, so but I definitely remember Edward's being really good. Edward's have been amazing. Nolan has gotten, like, very balanced level-ups, as you can see. Oh, that, that must mean he's bad, because balance is, like, a bad thing. I guess. Yeah, Bullock, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, that's no. the other <laughs> All of our experience. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, there, we gotta do some forging. Um, I just gotta forge a regular knife or soth, I think. You mean the throne one? Yeah, yeah. iron knife. Sure. Isn't that the Troy one? Oh, yeah, he run, he run out of his, uh, gush of last chapter. It's so cheap to give it a little bit of extra might. I don't see why I shouldn't. I mean, give it extra hit. You want to max the might. Always? Pretty much always, yeah. What if I don't want to kill the unit? Oh, I guess then you won't. I guess. I mean, if it's not meant to be killing enemies, then sure, don't give it extra might. It's... Just, I don't know what it's supposed to do, actually. I mean, I like to kill things, but maybe you don't. Alright, fine, I like... You can always, like, make him a normal one and a forced one, so he has a choice. That is not a bad idea. There's a red gem you can sell on it. I forgot if you did that already. I did that already. You know what? Yeah, we'll make him a... We'll make him a, a bad knife. We'll just call it the bad knife. Aaron knife? Yeah, Aaron knife. So, we'll call it... Oh, <laughs> should we use a coin on the bad... I mean, Aaron, like, the units, the bad unit. Yeah, I know, I know. And you don't want to use the coin, because then it gets stronger, maybe. Okay, fine. <laughs> Alright. Uh, bad... No, Aaron knife. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, bad knife. No, wait. Fuck, how do, I, how do I go back? This I don't is know. A... <laughs> I like it better this way. <laughs> bad... Babe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> 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 we gotta make a good knife. <laughs> this is enemies. I don't know why I'm thinking of this, but there was these enemies in GS Jack Rabbit that go like bop, bop. bop. Yeah, bop, 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 bop. Yeah, I love them. I right. which one's the uh, uh, turtle turtles. Is it the turtles that say that? I think the bop, bop. I think it's the turtles. Which right. turtles? There are so many turtles in that game. The, the normal ones. Um, I, don't, I think I'm thinking of different ones, but sure. Pick a card, Mecca. Four. And... Ooh, what? what's this? I'm an archer. I'm an archer! <laughs> Yay. Yeah, that's I... cool. Okay. And we should call this knife the... Good knife. <laughs> Goop. <laughs> Goop. <laughs> Typing is so hard. <laughs> Goop is at the top. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> At least they were like so much reason. Like you could understand what the fuck they meant back in Shadow Dragon. These forges are just bab and gum. Bab gum. <laughs> All right. Uh, any more forges? I don't think so. I think you're out of money. For I think part. I'm. Uh, this seems to be a recurring trend. Yeah, you actually get more forging options at the end of this uh, part. So. Okay. Anyway. Not this, not this chapter, but like one e. So. Let so us go. Good, I guess. If you had gold left, you want to save it. But you get like another blue gem, I think. Yeah. I... Oh, look, it's a prison camp. Yumono prison camp. Yeah, and here we have a dude. That means animal in Swedish, funnily enough. He literally even looks a little Swedish. Like, he, he could be Swedish. Old Swedish guy. Bold. Yeah, not all Swedish people are bold. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is goodbye, Ileana. Goodbye, Leonardo. Hello, Siark and Fiona. Yes. Fiona. Oh god. She can rescue. We need to talk about her, actually. Oh yeah, fuck, we need to talk about her. Alright, uh, let's see... You have her growths, because they're good. <laughs> I have her growths. They're not that okay. good. Uh, so... Not that they matter. Uh, so, in a long list of bad units... <laughs> uh, we have... I I'd say, like, this is the third unit that everyone won't sh shut up about. She follows the same trend as, like, Aaron. In that a lot of people really like her, they love training her up, which is completely fine. If you enjoy training her up, then by all means. Like, I understand why people enjoy training this unit. I don't. It's a pain. <laughs> it's such a pain. I agree, but I understand why people enjoy yeah. training a hero, like, from zero to hero. I, I get the appeal. And Fiona, if you want to do that, I mean, it's 
not very doable on hard mode, but on normal mode, it's a lot easier, because you can just bathe her in bonus experience. Um, what can I say about Fiona? Her bases are bad, really bad. Uh, she's a Lance Knight, which is at least better than being a Sword Knight, I'll give her that. Uh, at least she can throw javelins, but it still sucks that she has 8 base strength, because she, like, you want to use the Steel Lance on her, she's gonna get slowed down by a million. She's gonna get doubled by, like, fucking Armor Knights on this map, which is just fucking stupid. Um, like, as you can tell, her bases are atrocious for this part of the g uh, game. They're, like, Meg tier. But her growth rates are, I guess, respectable. They're not as good as many people think. Like, 45 hit points, 40 strength, 50 magic, 40 skills, 60 speed. 55 luck, 55 defense, 50 resistance. I guess her defense and resistance growths are pretty good, so she'll end up being tanky if you feed her a lot of bonus experience, I guess, but eh, I don't really see it. Like, 60% speed is alright, but 40% strength is really bad when your base strength is 8. Like, she hardly damages enemies on this map. You gotta carefully spoon feed her kills or shower her in bonus experience if you want her to be good. But she does have two things that makes her sort of stand out. Uh, the first thing is, at least they were generous enough to give her C and lances, which means that she can use some lances at base. Like, it, it would make sense if they gave her, like, D and lances, because she's, like, a new unit. Like they like they did with Nephany or, like, other units. But at least they gave her a good lance rank, so that's good. Uh, she also has two skills. She has Savior, which allows her to pick people up without uh, penalties. Uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter, because, like, <laughs> like, I think she's like, oh no... Her skill and speed halved, oh, now she, like, she'll still get doubled even without Savior. But I guess it's good if you train her. So having uh, the ability to pick someone up is good, I guess. And she also comes with the skill Imbue, which heals her each turn based on her magic stat. And you may have noticed that her magic stat is actually kind of high. Six base magic and a 15% growth. So yeah, if you put, like, Imbue will heal her more than Renewal at this point. Uh, so I guess a lot of people like to, like, have a magical cavalier that heals, but... Personally, I think it's better to just take Imbue off her and give her to, like, a better unit like Nasir or something. Uh, that's actually a pretty funny thing you can do with it. Or you can give it to any unit that has a lot of uh, uh, magic. Although you can't give it to Mages. If you could give Imbue to Mages, that'd be fucking great. Uh, but you can't do that. So you can't, like, give Imbue to a unit with, like, 30 magic and have them, like, self-heal at the start of every turn. Um, so what can we say about uh, Fiona aside from that? Her availability is pretty shit. Like, I think she's available in the grand total of, like, what, two chapters in this arc? Yeah. It's really bad. That's it. <laughs> That's really, and then she comes back in part three, very late into part three. So... Yeah, all, 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 to be fair, all the Dawn Brigade comes back that late. Like, yeah. She's not available any less than any other Dawn Brigade. But, yeah. Well, she sort of is, because she joins late into the Dawn Brigade arc. Yeah, I meant in part three. Yeah, in part three she's not less available, but the fact that she's hardly available in this arc makes her even more hard to use. So, again, like... On normal mode, you can make her viable. On hard mode, I think she's borderline unusable. I give her two out of five stars merely because she has a mount and savior, which I think are somewhat good tools. I don't, I, I, I don't find it fair to put her at one stars because I don't think she's mech. But she's like mech on a horse, I guess, which, <laughs> with a better weapon. So I think she's like deserves the two stars for that reason alone. What do you have to say about Fiona, Amica? I guess I'll talk about the one thing that I think stands out for Fiona for me is the horse. That's the most interesting part about her, because you don't really get that many mounted units. You have Jill, and that's like it for the Dawn Brigade for now. So that stands out. Unfortunately for this chapter, it actually means she gets a, a movement penalty, because it's indoors. So there's no dismounting in this game, but she still has less move than she would in outdoors. Kind of interesting. The other annoying thing is that like uh, she's not available next chapter because story reasons. Even though almost everyone else is, just not her and Jill, I think. That's it. Kind of lane to penalize her for that. She would also be bad in that chapter, so whatever. Uh, but the horse also makes her take heavy terrain penalties, so she sucks at moving up uh, ledges, she can't do that. Uh, she sucks at moving through terrain, and that really hurts in part 3 in particular. That uh, reduces her movement a lot in 3-6, for example, it's really annoying. Of course her stats are really bad, or like, she's not gonna get trained in any kind of efficient context. She just, she sucks. Like, even if you gave her like 5 level ups and they're all pretty good, she's still going to be pretty mediocre compared to the rest of your cast. Like you said, her grosses aren't that amazing. I think her main use is just picking up people and dropping them off. And I, I like in theory, Savior helps with that. But the thing about skills in Radiant Dawn that units have when they join is you can take them off and put them on anyone. So I count them towards them the same as I count starting inventory, which means none. I just The only credit I think they deserve for their starting skills is the fact that they can use them without penalty. And that's only if you never take it off of them. Like for example, Wrath on Edward. 
If you take it off of him and give it back to him, it actually costs him a capacity. Right now, it doesn't cost any capacity to use it. But if you take it off of him, the benefit is gone. So, in order for Fiona and Savior to be a good point for her, she would have to hold on to it for the rest of your life. But the problem is, Savior is much better used by units that are actually fighting, and Fiona, I don't think, is very good at fighting Savior or not. So, you don't really want her to have Savior. You want to have it on a unit like uh, Muarim or Har or Catania or uh, Jill, maybe, but not freaking Fiona. So, I don't really think Savior is really a bonus point for her. And the same goes for Imbue, but Imbue isn't as useful. Like I said, you can't put it on Mages, and you can't really put it on anyone that makes really good use of it. I usually sell Imbue. Surprise, surprise. Wow, I don't think it's very good. Mecha selling a skill for money? Yeah, <laughs> unheard of, right? Yeah, I don't like Imbue a whole lot. Um, people generally have too low magic stat to make use of it. Like, I think it heals equal to your magic stat, so healing 6 HP on a unit that dies to everything to begin with it just doesn't seem good to me. Uh, I mean, I guess Savior and Imbue let Fiona have like a really high ceiling of how good she can be if she trained up, because then you could do funny things like you can give her an A support with someone, like an Earth support. I think she has the Earth, Earth She does support. have the Earth support, which is yeah, really so you good. Yeah, so you could like A support her with like Zyhark or something, and then um, keep, keep Savior on her, have her pick up Zyhark, and then she gets a double Earth benefit without Zyhark even being on the field. That's so kind of funny, actually. Jab. That's pretty <laughs> funny. It just takes a lot of XP. I think one thing that people can do to make her good if they really want to is uh, I think next chapter you get a unit with the glare skill that can like paralyze enemies. Uh, it turns into stone, in fact. And then she could just, um, you can do it to a priest in the final chapter of this arc. <laughs> and you can keep poking a priest, and the priest will keep healing itself with, the, with his heal staff. That's so, hilarious. Like Laura did last, last chapter, then she just keeps getting level up off that. That's how you can boss abuse Fiona. Because if you try to boss abuse Fiona against an actual boss, if you don't glare, she just dies. <laughs> so we've got to use a priest for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, long story short, I think Fiona's bad. I think rescue and dropping has some utility, but not enough to think get her beyond two stars. I'll actually give her one star because I think she's like bottom three, All bottom right. four. And if I'm not giving Fiona one star, I don't know who the hell I am giving one star to. That's so, a yeah, lot of units. <laughs> I, I will say though, I think there are certain parts where the rescue dropping is nice, but I don't think she's good. <laughs> yeah. Not by any stretch of the imagination. All right. I guess a lot of people are angry that we're not like we're killing off all the popular units. <laughs> I wonder if Fiona's gonna meet the same fate. I guess we'll find out. Um, so yeah, we keep her alive because she's pretty useful in like three dash thirteen or something. <laughs> so uh, since we found out that the Serenus Seren Forest Tables were wrong, I'm not gonna list the exact numbers anymore when it comes to bonus experience. I'm just gonna list the turn count. So in order to get the full bonus experience of this map, you gotta clear it in ten turns. Uh, however, there's it, you can free these prisoners that are in these cells, and if they escape, you get some bonus experience from that as well. Uh, this guy also has a Storm Sword, which is kind of funny. It's like a better version of the Wind Edge, which is really good. He's also got Cap Defense. It's kind of funny. I don't remember if there's anything stealable. Not there. really. There might be like a Vulnerary or something. Yeah. yeah. There are like prison doors, but you can like knock them open anyway, so it's not really a big deal. You also have Soth who can just open them. Uh, do you remember who you recruit Mariam uh, and uh, Tormod with? Is it South? Okay, because because yeah. in that case, I am probably gonna send uh, Micaiah and South this way, so that I can recruit them immediately. We're gonna use like the Goob, I think. Goob or yeah. Bab? <laughs> Bab is a <laughs> yeah, Bab is One, Bab. Two, okay, three, I four, just do. Five. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably not gonna do shit to the armor knights, regardless. You don't think so? I mean. Maybe with the Goob, he does some damage. Oh, he does. With, with Goob, he seems to do a lot of damage. Okay, well, that's fair. You can just feed the kills to other people. This is a good map for Jill to get some XP. Unavailable next map. <laughs> Every map is a good map for Jill to get some XP, according yeah, to Yeah, this one is just particularly calm. It's not much of a rushing incentive, I guess. Not a lot of bows, that's for sure. Yeah. But it's also nice to get Jill up to the part where the prison is, because she can help ferry prisoners to the door. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good I think, point. like, half the time I play this map, I just tease that without ever opening a prison. Some Fast kind of Nolan, selfish. right here. I think uh, yeah. this might be a kill for Jill. Yeah. Yep. Boom. She doubles a lot of things now. This is good. Yeah. And her growths are pretty good, particularly speed. So. Oh, Ooh, yeah, nice. There we go. Very That's good. Nice. Very yeah. good. 18 speed. She's starting to get good. It's good. Um, yeah, I think her last few levels were pretty trash, actually. Yeah, and then I think uh, I'm actually going to do this. Get the guy down to uh, one health. <laughs> You're so lucky he missed. Yeah, he missed Fire the Adam. not good to weaken people with, okay? No, <laughs> he's not. He kills things all the time. But I think I'm going to send Volug up here. Yeah, he's also good for ferrying. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Antonin just shared with me an amazing strategy. One, two, three, four, five. In part two. That he, like, theory crafted out. And it's a, it's a strategy to make one of the units you hate the most. 
into a very decent unit. Oh, and I, I think I know what you're talking about. And so. I can't wait to do it. Like, because I, I know, know you, I know you hate this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the Dundon inspired strategy, too. Yeah. It's been theory crafting, and I mean, it's like. It's the you... difference between me hating a unit for the way they're acting in the story and the way they are. Oh, yeah. Not, not performance wise, just like yeah. personality wise. All right. Hello. So. <laughs> Hey, you said no voice acting. <laughs> you okay. broke the terms, I'm out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've just said everyone ever. <laughs> I'm hard, we're just here. <laughs> Alright, let's go wild! And suddenly they transform. I love how they move. They all the time. Aye, aye, aye. The beasts, they wish to consume me. I love this cutscene, it's so good. It's like, look, they're like running away from him. He's a mage. Dude, he's the least scariest unit here. I think they say like something like um, he's not a, he's not transforming. Get him! Oh yeah! Oh, that's true actually. Like, haha, we can at least kill him. So yeah, these guys start out as green units, but I think you recruit them with Soph. Yeah. Can he recruit like the other guys? Yeah. Or, or because I remember uh, I I need to kill these guys though. Sadly. Uh, just make, maybe Mikaya can take a hit if you're Mikaya super buff as well. This is actually a good. Yeah, she can. Wow. Holy sh- I uh, know she can't from this guy, but she can just kill this guy. Yeah, kill the guy that kills her. And boom! You stay neat, it's free! <laughs> I know, uh, I usually know- usually haven't talked to Soth, so I'm not sure what happens if you talk to more. I'm, I, I purposely didn't tell you because it would be like holding your hand, but... Uh, usually I shove Soth twice in the first two turns so that you can talk to Soth in turn two. Oh! I, I wonder if talking to Murren will just make him say hi. Me too. Uh, <laughs> so they get to rampage the place as green units. I th yeah, I think I wouldn't, just... be, I wouldn't be surprised if that Javelin went for Fika. If can reach. That's not but something I gotta I, I worry about. I think it's safe to try talking to him more. I mean, you can't reach Soth anyway. Hello, it's been a while. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he just says hi. Did you not skip anything? <laughs> no, 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 I did skip. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's been it. a while. It's been a while. Um, yeah, I don't know why. That's really weird. Anyway, I see another kill for Jill. Well, that was close for Jill. She got the hammer? Oh, wow. Where's the hammer? Ooh, I can give her the hammer. Is it on, is it on Nolan? It's on Nolan. Okay. Sure, I can Go give on. her the hammer. That's fine with me. Like, yeah. Probably like shit accuracy with it, but, you know. Yeah, and she and she doesn't need it to kill this guy. Really? Uh, no. So, uh, so I go through all the trouble. Well, I guess the hammer's more accurate in a way, because it only needs to hit once. Yeah, oh, no, 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 I, I actually... Double with it. Use the kill deal, then. It's, it's oh, accurate. okay, yeah. yeah, fine, fine. Fine, fine, oh, fine, fine. He's here, dude. He's healing. She Heal us, quick. Yeah, she can Heal her. Ah! Heal her now. Jesus Christ, I knew using your waifu was a mistake. <laughs> using waifu units is never a mistake. Is this how it's like using Louise in Coco Destiny? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Heal stay her. beside Stat. me. Stay beside me. Stay beside me. I think he'll actually go for full loop now because he's low. I think so too. Uh, okay. Wow. Well, Luke is like right. starting to take. Uh, yeah, he's. Leveling up his strength. Well, Luke rank is the is... but I guess one dash five is like good against Mermidons and everything. But everything else does like a decent chunk of damage to him. His defense is not that good. He just has a lot of HP. Two, three, four, five. I want to see what these, how these guys do against the arc. I think they kill him if they all hit. I remember doing this too. You're roughly doing it the way I usually do it. I'll, I'll take two of them then. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'll place him here. I think here. some of them don't move. I think the armor knight doesn't move, but yeah, yeah, just play it safe. Yeah, you might be right. I'll just put Edward here to help him out. Yeah, Edward is supportive and Nolan, right? And Tyrek is not supportive. He's a very supportive guy. Yeah. No, oh, he does move. Oh, okay. It's another enemy that doesn't move. Or maybe they all move. Maybe I'm just wrong. These guys move? Oh, yeah. That, oh, I remember now. It opens the prison door when you're moving. That's right. Oh. Oh, okay. Wow, look. Tormod being good. I mean, Tormod's not bad in this part. Let's be promoted. This is true, actually. Oh yeah, he did go for Vika. Yep. Ripper Gage. Oh, good thing that soldier doesn't move if I remember correctly. Uh. This guy doesn't kill, I think. Pretty. Oh, See, you sure? I told you, it didn't kill. Wow. You sure that soldier doesn't move? Pretty sure. I mean, he's standing guard. <laughs> right, right. I, hey, Tormod! Hey, XP for green units. Tormod, all right. You just, you, congrats, you just got five bonus experience. <laughs> I guess. That's more than Bol what himself would have gotten. Alright. Okay. Hey, Tormod. Hey. Long time no see. <laughs> Long time no see. Alright, we got three new units to talk about here, so let's get to it. So, what do you want to begin with? 
Tormod. Tormod. So Tormod. Fire Sage actually got pretty good bases, funnily enough. Yeah. Like 20 speed, that's really good. He does struggle, like, at, at any at this point in the game, he does struggle a little bit with the availability, but so does everyone who joins this late. It's basically really down in a nutshell. So, I think we can both agree that if Celerity was, was locked to Tormod, he'd be a lot better, right? Yeah, if he was around, that would also help. Yeah. But, yeah. If but, he was around and the Celerity was, was locked to him, then he'd be really good, yeah. So, you can probably see where that's going. <laughs> yeah, but because you can take skills off people in this game, Tormod just, like, I feel like he gets completely overshadowed by his skill. Because it's like, oh fuck yeah, Celerity, let's give that to everyone who needs it, you know? It's like, it's so good, it's like a boots that you can, like, pass around to whoever yeah. needs it the most. It's great, although we're probably gonna, I don't know, probably give it to Jill or something. Or probably to Raphael when we get him. Um... So, I... What can we say about Tormod? Well, he's, he's pretty good. You always say that with every unit. What can we say about this unit? Because I don't really know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got good stats, decent growth rates. I've never really used Tormod, so I don't know how good his endgame potential is. But you can use him. That's the whole point. <laughs> That's the whole problem with him. You can't use him. That's my big issue with him. He's got a bond support with Moraim. He's got the fire affinity, which is alright, I guess. His weapon ranks are pretty good. A fire... B Thunder, Wind, C, C Wind. I'm not really sure if transfers help him out in any way. Maybe they do. I guess he's one of the units in Path of Radiance that is sort of easy to get transfer bonuses on, seeing as he, he it's pretty easy to give him experience in that game. But yeah, I, I just, at the end of the day, I don't really know what to say about this unit, other than the fact that he, he is a free boot skill that you can pass around. So I give Torma 2 out of 5 stars. I don't think it's fair to rate him based on, like, the skill that he comes with. Because that's, no. like, outside his utility. So... Well, you rated so Fiona higher for Savior. I guess I did, didn't I? That was a bit silly. Um, I mean, it's free celerity, I guess that's sort of good? I don't know. But anyway, two out of five stars. Bad availability. He's like a sage that's there. Yay. Yeah. Maybe you can say something about Tormod that I forgot. I just don't actually... I have no yeah. idea what to say. I mean, I like Tormod in part one. He's actually really good. Uh, I like to keep celerity on him for a little bit because no good reason to take it off of him. He's actually useful in the next chapter. And the final I think I should take it off of him, because after that he leaves. So, um, you gotta take it off of him. And he doesn't rejoin the Dawn Brigade in Part 3. That's the thing that hurts him when we say no availability. He, he leaves after the last chapter in Part 1. And then he doesn't come back in chapter th in Part 3, but instead he comes back in, like, one chapter before Endgame, basically. It's like, yeah, the last chapter before Endgame. And at that point he's still this Tier 2. He's not gonna promote to Tier 3 in time. So he's really bad when he comes back compared to your other units. So, very few people are actually willing to raise Tormod for good reason. He's just not good when he comes back. So it's one another one of those units that's like really good at one point in the game and are really bad at another point. So for that reason, I think two stars is perfectly fair for him. Uh, you can use Celerity for free for a little bit, but it's not so great as to raise his rating a whole lot. Uh, but he is really fast. I think the only fast unit right now is like Zyhark, and that's about it. 20 speed is really good. 1-2 range is really nice. He's one of the few people who can fire up walls and actually probably hit because his hit rate is just that high right now. So, um, that's okay, I guess, but I don't know that, not a whole lot going for him. So, good for three chapters, then bad for the rest of it, so two stars. Right. Yep. Oh, also, for, as for transfers, because you asked, I looked up how likely he is to cap stats, and I literally just looked at it. Um, but I already lost track. Where the fuck is it? Uh, alright, he joins mid-game. There we go. Okay, so it's like a 7% chance to cap magic, uh, but like a 23% chance to cap speed, for example. So those could be different chapters. He has like small chances to he has like small chances to cap everything, basically, or almost everything. So if you give him some stat boosters or use bands, he might cap a little more. So it is possible to give him transfer. It just doesn't do a whole lot for him because he's never around. Yeah, popularity-wise, he's like 35 with okay. uh, 432 votes. So people don't really like him all that much. I forgot to mention Fiona. Fiona's uh, around... Uh, wow, she's really low as well. Holy shit, she, Fiona's actually... <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you had to count, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I did. She's like 30. Okay, uh, I thought she'd be higher, actually. Yeah, I think Meg was a lot higher. Meg was super yeah. high. <laughs> Meg is a bigger meme, I guess. Anyway, Moraim. Hey. Moraim's strong. I like Moraim. Like, those are some pretty fucking good transformation bonuses right there. Like, holy shit. 36 base strength, 22 speed, that's really good. I don't remember how, can you refresh me, uh, how, does these, how do uh, tiger gauges work in this game? Are they slow? Uh, 
pretty much every gauge in this game is the same. Uh, cats transform faster and untransform faster. Yeah. Dragons are not relevant right now. Everything else is like the same gauge. So I think they take like two turns to transform if they use Olivia Grass on both turns. Right. And if they wait, it takes forever. Because <laughs> story-wise, Moraim just comes in with full gauge in this chapter, which gives a bit of a skewed representation yeah. of what he's Next like. Next chapter two. Next chapter two. Yeah, so he actually sort of gets like a free no, transform. But he doesn't, I think. Let me think. No, wait, he transforms into the cutscene and then he is untransformed from the chapter. So it's actually just this chapter where he has a free transformation. Yeah, so right away he's pretty good. He'll kill everything. It's kind of like Volug in the in the pre uh, previous chapter. He comes in, he murders everything. Um, uh, his, uh, his growth rates are actually sort of good, though, in this game. Like, higher, although his speed growth is atrocious at 20%. That's, like, really low. But he's got pretty high uh, strength, hit points. Uh, skill and defense, at least compared to other Lagoos, considering effectively whenever he levels up one of uh, one of these stats, uh, he gets plus two. If you can somehow give him transfers from Path of Radiance, he'll double those as well. So like, if you give him a strength transfer, he'll get plus four strength, which is I think just overkill at this part of the game, but it might make him more viable in the end game. I don't know. I'm just sort of theorizing. He doesn't really have any skills. He comes with a bone support with Tor mod, but that's sort of worthless. His Thunder Affinity is okay, I guess. Aside from that, he's like, his stats are really good, but that's sort of the only impressive thing about him. I haven't really used Morim in the late game, so I can't really say how good he gets. I think maybe if you put a lot of invest in investment into him, you can, but like, why would you? You get like the Royal Lagoos in the late game, and a lot of other Lagoos who are just way better than him, so... I think Morim is just sort of in the same territory as Tormod, just like, yeah, he's got good stats when he joins, but he just isn't good after a while, so I just give him 2 out of 5 stars. Yeah, you compare Moram to Voluk, I think he's more like a Teronio that has more move, but is Lagoos and has one range only. He is ridiculously powerful, like 46 attack with his Fang, like he won round kills, Armor Knights, I think he almost won at kills then, to be honest. Wow. Ridiculous. 30 defense, he just never takes damage from anything physical, it's insane how good Moram is at this point in the game. Uh, but just like Tormod, he's never around, and I think this is also the problem for them when it comes to supports, like you mentioned their affinity, but they just don't have the time to build up supports. They just vanish and come back, and the only thing they can support is each other, because, you know, they're always near each other, pretty much. Like, in the next chapter, they're rigged to be next to each other here. Yeah. Here, they're rigged to be next to each other, so they can only really support themselves, like this little trio of units that we're talking about, so... And that's just not a great thing, because, you know, you only really have the resources to use one of them, to be honest, because they take so much investment to make good for endgame, and then... Yeah. This part of the game, they're all so invincible, it doesn't really where I'm super strong right now, like five stars easily at this point, and then he's probably the most viable of these three in the late game because his stats are good enough. And if you give him like resolve, I think he can be sort of salvageable. But lack of two ranges is so bad at that point of the game; it's awful. Yeah. So, um, same thing as Tormod, really two stars mm -hmm. for me. And then finally, uh, oh right, I forgot to check how popular he was. Uh, not very. Oh wow. Okay, Mecca. Least popular? Almost. He is the fourth <laughs> least popular character, only beaten by Kisa, Neoluchi, and Oki. <laughs> wow! Wow, I didn't expect Oki to be here. I love Oki. Oki is the lowest rated character. Oh, damn. I hate you guys. I hate you all. Wow. Holy shit. That, I did not see that one coming. Jesus Christ. Alright, anyway. Let us uh, go over to Vika. So, Vika! I think a lot of people, myself included, I've even said this in Path of Radiance, I think Vika has the best, one of the best female designs, Lagoose designs, probably. Like, I think her character art is absolutely drop-dead gorgeous, and I think it's a shame that, like, she has one line of dialogue in this game. Like, literally. What can you tell me about Vika's personality, Mecha? Uh, she is, um, she feels uneasy about Micaiah because Micaiah is branded. That's pretty, pretty much all I know. much, yeah. So Vika really got screwed over by the fact that there's no supports in this game. Um, but, I mean, let's talk about her as a unit. Her strength is really low. <laughs> like, it's really low. 18. That's not good. I mean, at least with Muraim, when he comes back, he can still damage things. But Vika? Sure, she's really fast because she's a raven. So 30 speed is pretty good. I think she can double things even when she comes back. But... 18 strength is really bad! 14 defense and 38 hit points is not good for a Lagoose. Like, if you want a Lagoose unit to be good, at least they have to sort of be able to survive things, and they need to be able to do somewhat decent damage at one range. Vika can't do either of these things. I mean, 
is just really hard for me to find a good use for her. Even though she's a flyer, even though she has Kanto, she can, like, shove and rescue people, which is alright, I suppose. There's some merit in that. But her combat stats are just so bad. I mean, for this part of the game, they work. But she quickly, like... Like, she falls off even quicker than some of your other units. And her growth rates are not particularly spectacular either. I mean, they're sort of, like, in the same uh, boat as the other Lagoos. I mean, I guess she's got good skill, speed, and luck, which is good, but, like... Yeah, speed is really high, right? Uh, yeah, 80... Per no, 60%. And 65% luck. And she's got 65% rest as well, so her rest will grow. But her defense is 15%. Her strength is 25%. That is really bad for a unit that relies on strength to deal damage and only targets physical. She has the Shriek skill, which sometimes when she gets attacked in 2 range, she, like, reduces enemies' luck to zero. I've never seen this be useful. So yeah, really gorgeous unit, really terrible unit. Two out of five stars. Uh, yeah, Fika has like the same availability as Troma and Warren, which is obviously her main flaw, but then she's also just not that good stat-wise. Like her strength is just too bad. Uh, she is really fast, but as some people like to say, zero times two is still zero. So that really sucks late game. It's, it's good that she's a flyer for part one, because you don't really have that many. Next chapter, in fact, you don't have any besides Fika, and she can be useful sometimes for uh, some things in that chapter. Uh, but she doesn't start transformed like here, so that kind of sucks. Uh, not a very good unit overall. The fire utility kind of wears off after that, not really much of a point to it. I don't know if there's even a slot for her in the end game. There's so many units you want to bring there. So unlike Moram and Tormund, who are just like invincible, she's just kind of there and not that strong. I think it's fair to just give her a one star, because when she comes back, she can't do anything at all. She just she can unlock some chests and doors stuff, I guess. It's just not a very pretty sight for her. Yep. Yeah. Not a good... There is one fun fact I will mention about Fika, though. Uh, there was this series a long time ago hosted by Goldie. I don't know if you've heard of her. Um, she made these videos where characters with, like, maxed stats would fight each other in Radiant Dawn and, like, various scenes and stuff. It was pretty cool. Uh, pretty fun to watch me have, like, nothing to do. I think I may have seen some of that. Yeah. Another... And at some point, she um, decided to do, like, an average stat special where she would use units um, as if they had no caps, but they just keep growing beyond their caps. And Fika has such absurd speed and luck that she became so dodgy that like some things just had zero hit rate on her, or just so low that they couldn't hit her. So she would just win against random stuff completely out of the blue. It was just amazing to see Fika be finally could be good at something. <laughs> it was really great. If you just remove caps and change the rules and gives everyone infinite experience, Fika finally becomes good. Is that what you're saying, my god? Yeah, Is so that what you're saying? Oh my god, my wife will come and go... Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Comment section right now. <laughs> One star. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we're going to make a cut here and continue in the next part. What should I do, uh, Mecca? Like and subscribe. And remember, uh, even if your waifu is good looking, she's still trash. Bye. <laughs>